Deep within the forests of eastern Oregon, a silent giant resides. Hidden from plain sight, it stretches across an immense area, a testament to the power and mystery of the natural world. This is no ordinary giant, it is a living organism, a fungus known as the honey mushroom. The honey mushroom, or Armillaria ostoii to be precise, is a marvel of nature. While we often picture mushrooms as small, umbrella-shaped growths on the forest floor, this particular species defies expectations. Its true form lies hidden beneath the soil, a vast network of interconnected threads known as mycelium. The Malheur National Forest, home to this extraordinary organism, sprawls across the Blue Mountains of eastern Oregon. This rugged landscape, characterized by towering ponderosa pines and Douglas firs, provides the perfect environment for the honey mushroom to thrive. Here, amidst the fallen leaves and decaying wood, the fungus finds its sustenance. The forest is a place of constant change, where life and death are intertwined. Trees, both young and old, compete for sunlight and nutrients, while fungi and other decomposers play a vital role in breaking down organic matter and recycling essential elements back into the ecosystem. Beneath the surface of the forest floor lies a hidden world, a realm of darkness and silence where the honey mushroom reigns supreme. Its mycelium, a network of white thread-like structures, spreads through the soil, searching for food and connecting different parts of the fungus. These threads, known as hyphae, are the building blocks of the fungus. They secret enzymes that break down organic matter, allowing the honey mushroom to absorb nutrients from the surrounding environment. As the mycelium grows, it forms an intricate web that can extend for miles beneath the forest. The honey mushroom in Malheur National Forest is not just large, it is colossal. This fungal behemoth stretches its tendrils far and wide, making it a true marvel of nature. Covering an area of over 2,200 acres, it is the largest known organism on Earth. Imagine walking through this forest, unaware that beneath your feet lies a single interconnected organism that spans such an immense area. To put that into perspective, it is equivalent to the size of 1,665 football fields. Picture a football field, then multiply that by over a thousand. It's almost unfathomable. This remarkable size is not the only impressive feature of this fungal giant, the honey mushroom, or Armillaria ostoia, is a master of survival and adaptation, thriving in the forest's rich ecosystem. Scientists estimate that the honey mushroom in Malheur National Forest is also incredibly old, perhaps over 2,400 years old. This ancient organism has witnessed the rise and fall of civilizations, standing the test of time. This means that the fungus has been growing and spreading beneath the forest since before the Roman Empire. Imagine the stories this ancient organism could tell, having silently observed the world above for millennia. Its longevity and resilience are a testament to the incredible power of nature. Beneath the forest floor, the honey mushroom's mycelium forms a vast, intricate network connecting trees and plants, facilitating nutrient exchange and playing a crucial role in the forest's health and stability. This fungal network not only supports the forest flora, but also its fauna. Various animals, from insects to larger mammals, interact with and benefit from the presence of this colossal fungus. The humongous fungus of Malheur National Forest is a reminder of the hidden wonders that lie beneath our feet. Unseen yet profoundly influential, it is a symbol of nature's interconnectedness and the enduring mysteries of the natural world. Section 5 a silent spread. The honey mushroom grows and spreads through its mycelium, extending its reach through the soil in search of new sources of food. As it grows, the mycelium encounters the roots of trees, and this is where the story takes a dramatic turn. The honey mushroom is a parasitic fungus, meaning that it obtains its nutrients from living organisms, often to their detriment. When the mycelium encounters tree roots, it can infect them, slowly draining the tree of its vital nutrients and water. Section 6, the wood wide web. The relationship between fungi and trees in a forest is complex and multifaceted. While some fungi, like the honey mushroom, can be parasitic, others form mutually beneficial relationships with trees known as mycorrhizae. In these partnerships, the fungus helps the tree absorb water and nutrients from the soil, while the tree provides the fungus with sugars produced through photosynthesis. 
This underground network of mycorrhizal fungi is often referred to as the wood wide web. It allows trees to communicate with each other, sharing resources and even warning each other of dangers like insect infestations or drought. Here's section seven, a force of nature. The forest is a complex and dynamic ecosystem teeming with life and interdependent relationships. While the honey mushroom's parasitic nature may seem destructive, it is important to remember that it is a natural part of the forest ecosystem. This fungus, known scientifically as armillaria, can spread across vast areas, connecting trees through an underground network of mycelium. The fungus plays a role in regulating tree populations, preventing any one species from becoming too dominant and creating space for new growth. By doing so, it ensures biodiversity, which is crucial for the resilience and health of the forest. The balance it maintains allows for a variety of species to thrive, each contributing to the ecosystem in unique ways. The death of trees, while seemingly tragic, is an essential part of the forest life cycle. When a tree falls, it opens up the canopy, allowing sunlight to reach the forest floor and giving new plants the opportunity to grow. This process of renewal is vital for the forest's long-term sustainability. Dead trees provide habitat for a wide array of creatures, from insects to birds to mammals. These organisms rely on the decaying wood for shelter, food and breeding grounds. For instance, woodpeckers carve out nests in the trunks, while beetles and fungi break down the wood, turning it into rich organic matter. They also decompose, releasing nutrients back into the soil, enriching it for future generations of trees and other plants. This nutrient cycling is fundamental to the forest's health, ensuring that the soil remains fertile and capable of supporting diverse plant life. The decaying wood also acts as a sponge, retaining moisture and providing a microhabitat for various organisms. In this way, the forest is a self-sustaining system where every element, from the tallest tree to the smallest fungus, plays a crucial role in maintaining the balance of life. Section 8. Life and Death in the Forest The forest is a dynamic and ever-changing environment where life and death are constantly intertwined. The honey mushroom, with its parasitic nature and immense size, is a powerful reminder of the forces at play in this complex ecosystem. While the fungus may kill trees, it also creates opportunities for new life to flourish. The death of one organism paves the way for the growth of others, ensuring the continuation of the forest ecosystem as a whole. Section 9, The Delicate Balance. The honey mushroom in Malheur National Forest highlights the delicate balance that exists within ecosystems. Every organism from the smallest insect to the largest tree plays a role in maintaining this balance. When one organism, like the honey mushroom, grows too large or becomes too successful, it can disrupt this balance, leading to cascading effects throughout the ecosystem. Understanding these complex interactions is crucial for conservation efforts and maintaining the health of our forests. Section 10, a testament to time. The honey mushroom in Malheur National Forest is a testament to the power of time and the resilience of life. This organism, known scientifically as Armillaria ostoyae, is not just any mushroom. It is the largest living organism on Earth, spanning over 2,385 acres of forest floor. For thousands of years, this organism has been growing and spreading beneath the forest, shaping the landscape and influencing the lives of countless other organisms. Its underground network of mycelium stretches for miles, connecting trees and plants in a complex web of life. This vast network allows it to extract nutrients from the soil and trees, ensuring its survival through the ages. It is a reminder that there is still much we don't know about the natural world and that even the most seemingly insignificant organisms can have a profound impact on their environment. Scientists are continually discovering new aspects of its biology, such as its ability to communicate with other plants and its role in the forest's ecosystem. The honey mushroom's parasitic nature, while detrimental to some trees, also plays a crucial role in the natural cycle of life and death within the forest. The honey mushroom, with its immense size, ancient age and parasitic nature, is a true marvel of the natural world. Its fruiting bodies, which are the mushrooms we see above ground, are just a small part of this colossal organism. These mushrooms appear in the fall, adding a touch of beauty to the forest floor with their golden caps. 
a testament to the wonders that await those who dare to look beyond the surface. The story of the honey mushroom is a story of endurance, adaptation, and the intricate balance of nature. It invites us to appreciate the hidden complexities of the world around us and to recognize that every organism, no matter how small or seemingly insignificant, has a role to play in the grand tapestry of life.